students please note down these notes have been uploaded in the description of video please download your notes dear students in this lecture of developmental biology i will discuss process of gastrulation in chick dear students this lecture gastrulation it involves following steps step number first that is formation of endoderm or hypoblast dear students in this gastrulation in chick the first step is formation of this layer it is endoderm or hypoblast it is essential because this layer hypoblast it involves in the digestion of yolk it means this hypoblast or endoderm it provides nourishment to the developing embryo the second step is formation of primitive streak or that represents the caudal end that represents the tail region of embryo and this process formation of primitive streak that involves three types of movements convergence invagination and these outward movements are divergence third step is formation of mesoderm it is mesogenesis dear student first step is formation of endoderm hypoblast and that endoderm hypoblast it digest yolk material so it provides nourishment to the embryo the second step is formation of this primitive streak primitive groove and the process of this primitive streak that involves three kinds of movements convergence invagination and outward movements are divergence third step is formation of mesoderm mesogenesis in this process of formation of mesoderm first of all prospective extra embryonic mesoderm cells which converts invaginate and move outward to produce extra embryonic mesoderm then the prospective lateral plate mesoderm also converts invaginate and move outward to produce lateral plate mesoderm and finally the prospective somatic mesoderm also converts invaginate and produce in this central region the somatic mesoderm next step is formation of notochord or it is notogenesis no doubt here this is not a cord and this not a cord is develops it is formed due to the rolling of not a cord cells the prospective not a cord cells which roll over the hansen's knot or primitive knot as a result this not a cord it occupies the central region of this subgerminal cavity and this solid structure present in this middle part that represents notochord notochord it develops due to the movements of prospective notochord cells and the notochord cells roll up roll over the hansen's knot or primitive knot and it occupies this middle part central part of this subgerminal cavity the next part is the next step is formation of neural tube or it is neurogenesis dear student first step is formation of this hypoblast endoderm then the formation of this primitive streak primitive groove and the next step is formation of mesoderm mesogenesis in this mesoderm formation first of all prospective extra embryonic mesoderm cells converts invaginate and move outward to produce extra embryonic mesoderm then the prospective lateral plate mesoderm and finally the somatic mesoderm converts invaginate and move outward to produce lateral plate mesoderm and somatic mesoderm after the formation of this hypoblast 
primitive streak and mesoda the next step is formation of this notochord it is notogenesis and this process of formation of notochord it is carried by the rolling of prospective notochord cells and the notochord cells which roll over the Hansen's knot or primitive knot and it occupies this central part of the subgerminal cavity. Next step is formation of neural tube. Dear students, this process is it is neurogenesis. After the formation of notochord, mesoda, this primitive streak, primitive groove get shortened and the prospective neuroectoderm of both sides also converts and meet in the center to produce a neural plate and the margins of neural plate rise up to produce neural fold and the neural fold of both sides grow upward to produce a neural tube and that neural tube encloses a cavity that is neuroseal and the neuroseal opens by a neuropore formation of mesoblastic somites dear students in this central region on both sides of this notochord this mesoblastic somites and this mesoblastic it gets segmented transversely to produce paired blocks called somites these are mesoblastic somites and the last step is formation of coelom and this coelom this cavity of embryo it is cytosil because it develops due to the splitting of this lateral plate and this lateral plate mesoderm that gets split it as a result two layers are formed this outer layer and this outer layer is somatic mesoderm and this inner layer it is planchanic mesoderm dear students the formation of coelom it develops due to due to the splitting of mesoderm so this cavity this coelom is cytosyl schizosyl and this cytosyl which is a characteristic feature of chordates dear students this coelom which appears due to splitting of this lateral plate mesoderm as a result two layers outer somatic mesoderm and inner supplant mesoderm appear thank you